because I wanted to share with you guys what I'm listening to books wise and what I'm reading books wise whether it be school books or um, medicine books that I just of course love to read and all of that stuff so if you guys want to see what I am reading and what I am listening to, then just keep watching. Does anybody else have, have those like baby hairs that just keep constantly like falling? Like I just have so many. And I'm always wearing my hair up, just so you guys are aware. So, the books that I am listening to are, there's just, there's multiple. Um, right now, this is the third time today I've been listening to this because I love it so much, is Love Her Wild. So that's what it looks like. Um, these are just poems. That's all it is. And, but it's like deep poems. It's like about a relationship and how boys and girls are so I love love this one the other one that I love is the same ordeal it's the same thing it's called milk and honey by Rup Rupai Rupi Rupi Carr So, Rupi Carr, um, this one is just more or less about like um, violence, sexual, like sexual things, and um, other other different things. So, Milk and Honey is a collection of poetry and prose about survival, about the experiences of violence, abuse, love, loss, and femininity. Femininity. See, that word I always get tongue tied because there's just too much going on in that one word. So that's what this is about. And I love it because she's going through experiences that I've gone through. So it just makes it even more like relatable and it's just so much better to get into. Um, another thing, these are like self improvements. Um, we have Seat of the Soul, The Seat of the Soul. I have The Universe Has Your Back. This one is by Gabrielle Bernstein, which she was actually recommended to me by um, not a YouTuber, but someone in like my personal life. She was actually um, one of them that was recommended. Um, the Girl Code. And this one is by... So this one has... Unlocking the Secrets to Success, Sanity, and Happiness for the Female Entrepreneur by Kara Leba. So, the other one I have is Unfuck Yourself, which looks like this. Um, this one I haven't really gotten into just because um, this is like, I just bought this today, so I don't know exactly how I feel about it, but I just... I don't know. It just seemed kind of cool um, when it comes to, I mean, just the name, Unfuck Yourself, is just kind of funny. It just makes you want to, like, grasp, like, you're gravitating towards it. Um, it's a get out of your head and into your life. The other one I like is Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself, How to Lose Your Mind and Create a New One by Dr. Joe Dispenza. And we remember who we are based primarily on what we know and the things we do. Living in survival causes us to focus on the 0.00001% instead of the 99.99999% of reality. So that was another one I like. Um, 15 things you should give up to be happy. This was another one that was recommended to me in my personal life by a teacher. Um, so, this one is an inspiring guide to discovering effortless joy, and it is by Luminita Savu. Um, again, 
I'll post it on the side and I'll post all the names and stuff down below. The other one, I have been listening to this one for two years now. Um, on and off when I feel like I need the extra boost, I listen to this. This one is by Louis, Louis, Louis Hay um, and You Can Heal Your Life. Love this one. I've been listening to this one since like 2015, 2016. So it's been a good two years, three years. Love that one. Um, the next one is Unleash the Positive Thinker in You. Self-improvement, self-boost, and self-help guide. And this one is by Eden Hill. So that one is that. Um, the next one is The Four Agreements, A Practical Guide to Personal Freedom by Don Miguel Ruiz. Prayer for Love. We are going to share a beautiful dream together. A dream that you will love to have all of the time. In this dream, you are in the middle of a beautiful, warm, sunny day. You hear the birds, the wind, and the little river. You walk toward the river. At the edge of the river is an old man in meditation. And you see that out of his head comes so, a beautiful light. That's another one. So the ones that I try not to bump. read um, is The Magic, The Hero... Chicken Soup for True Love, Chicken Soup for the Soul, True Love, Positive Thinking, and Setting Boundaries with Difficult People. So, that's what they all look like. So those are the ones that I listen to um, and sometimes read, but I don't like to read like on a phone or an iPad or like a Nook or something. I like to either read it in my hand and have a paperback or I'll listen to audiobooks. So we have a lot here, a lot of like books. Uh, majority is health, health related. So the first thing that I love to always read is the Chicken Soup for the Soul, Think Positive. I always run back to this one. And this one is Jack by Jack Canfield, Mark Victor Hansen, and Amy Newmark. So it's 101 inspirational stories about counting your blessings and having a positive attitude. The other one is obviously a Bible. I got this one from when I was at a church a couple years ago. So this is Calm. It is Calm the Mind and Change the World. So just like random things. My uncle is playing with my daughter. So um, this one is by Michael Afton Smith. And this also was recommended, like the app. You see these baby ears? Like, look at this. Like, look. <laughs> look at. Like, whose whose baby ears does this for real? So I was recommended the app. Um, right here. I was recommended the app by my therapist. Um, she told me about this one. So, yeah. So I love this. I'll read this every so often when I need an extra boost. Um, the other ones, again, are health related. So this one is, it's my ovary stupid. And this one is by Elizabeth Lee Villette. Um, she's an MD. Now, the reason behind these is because I had, here's a little background story. And this is going to take a little while. Um, at 16, I was told that I couldn't have any kids because I had PCOS. I was diagnosed with chronic bacterial vaginosis, and, which is just an upset of your pH balance in a negative way and not in a positive way. Like yeast infections are positive of overgrowth of the good um, yeast, but BV is just like a negative. Um, so you probably have a very, very sensitive pH balance. Um, so I was diagnosed with that PCOS and cervical cancer so um, I was told again that I couldn't have kids so 
I went on a spree of buying all these books. And again, these books are over 10 years old. The ones from this on is going to be about 10 years old. Um, when I was 16, I started reading these books. So, you know, to get pregnant, to be able to, I guess, just get like the cl clarification that yes, I can have a child without needing drugs, without needing Clomid, um, Clomiphene, or any of those other drugs. I bought these books and I have been reading it. I think I'm pretty highly experienced when it comes to you know female reproductive just because I have been reading this so I have been reading this for um, about 10 years I have been reading stuff about women's health for 10 plus years so I think I'm pretty good um, you can just tell that I wanted to be a doctor and I still do so um, this is not 10 years old. This one I just bought and I do love reading this because it has to do with like all the new medicines. There is more than 5,000 drugs are profiled. So this one, don't judge me, $44.95. So, and this was released 5-24-2017 and this is a um, drug reference for pharmacology. So that one and then this one is kind of like my go-to just because I used to <laughs> I used to volunteer at Planned Parenthood and I got this as a gift and I will always this is the Encyclopedia by Planned Parenthood, um, Women's Health Encyclopedia. So this has everything from gynecological exams, fibromyalgia, the endocrine system. I have been highlighting or uh, underlining in this book. We have information about the IUD, the spermicides, the condoms of withdrawal, um, chronic fatigue syndrome, Cholesterol, Chinese medicine, cancer of the lungs, um, breast surgery, um, fibrocystic conditions for the breast, and birth defects, abortion, antibiotics, um, HIV, AIDS. So this book has everything, and regardless of how old it is or it will become, um, this went through this went through a fire so I don't know if you guys can tell or not but yeah, this went through a fire so it was meant for me to have this and for this at the time was $22 so I will forever hold on to this book and this book and the other one so taking charge of, of your fertility I'm sure everybody has seen their mother has been talking about this I everyone has been talking about this so this one has to do with charting your um, basal body temperature your cervical mucus your position of your cervix um, like it it's just everything and if I'm not mistaken, this one was one of the ones that told that I read and if I'm wrong I'm gonna post the link to that website that I read it on um, that you can get pregnant if you have PCOS endometriosis um, if you take the birth control pill for a certain amount of time or you know it doesn't matter how long it is um, you can get pregnant as soon as you stop it within seven days so this is why this one is so near and dear to my heart because I um, I tried it and I was on low overall at the time and me and Victoria's dad broke up and then we got back together and I wasn't on any birth control because I was like you know what like why you know like we're not together there's so why be on any birth control and I figured that like you know it was I wasn't gonna get pregnant because it just wasn't either my time or I really had a problem so 
you know, we we had sex and I was just like, you know what, if it's not me, it's got to be him. Like, he must have had a vasectomy, he must have lied and all of this stuff. So, I was like, if I didn't get pregnant this month, then something's wrong with him. It's not me. And whoop, lo and behold, I got pregnant. And now I have a seven-year-old kid who is crazy. Um, you can see how dirty it is. And I still have the disc. So this is another one near and dear to my heart. This one also is another near and dear one to my heart. And this one is because this was the first ever medical book that I got. And it's called um, Fertility and Conception, The Complete Guide to um, Getting Pregnant. And this one was when I wanted to be, at the time when I was 16, I wanted to be a doctor. This is what turned me into wanting to be one. Um, as you can see, it tells you everything about the vitamins that you need, um, what you need to drink, how much protein, um, physical fitness that you need, avoiding the stress, too little estrogen, too much estrogen, too little progesterone, and too much progesterone. So this one is like, this one just tells you every little detail that you need to know. Um, if I had to pick out of any of them, except for the encyclopedia, because obviously I will always have the encyclopedia, I would say it's a toss up between these two. I can't pick between one of these um these two are just pretty much near and dear so the last physical book that i have is the mosby's dictionary for nurses doctors and um, health professionals so this one is the eighth edition last but not least we have um the podcast i wanted to share a little bit of the podcast that i listened to so we have um Positive Affirmations for Inner Transformation, um, which looks like this. Let's see if I can. Looks like this. And I listen to Abraham Hicks. I'm pretty sure if you guys are all into this, you know about Abraham Hicks. So I listen to her. I listen to um, anatomy and physiology stuff. I listen to um, straight A nursing students. And then, which one is this? Love Your Next Shift. So, I listen to all of these bad boys. So, this one is Straight A Nursing Student. This one is Loving Your Next Shift. Um, and then, like, Instant Anatomy. I'll listen to, like, anatomy and physiology stuff. You know, I'll listen to all of this. Just to get, like, I guess reacquainted and better for me to know these things I guess um I haven't seen anything you know too great on you know the top charts so I'm not sure if there's anything else if you guys know of any other like podcasts that are that you recommend any other books I like listening to audiobooks because I listen to them at work while I'm working so if you guys know of any good audiobooks that you guys would recommend please let me know down below and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video and again leave your recommendations down below and I will talk to you guys in my next video bye